Hi, Marion. It's uh, Tristan from Manitoba Marketing here. Uh, we spoke on the phone just yesterday, and uh, I'm just making this super quick video to show you what I think uh, you can do uh, to better increase your online presence on Google. And uh, I find that a lot of business owners uh, don't have the time or just don't know the advantages to being ranked on Google because the higher you are in Google, the more clicks you're going to get on the website and the more business you're going to get for your website. Um, so this video is just going to educate. So if you feel like going out and doing all of this stuff on your own, by all means, it's your own business. You can do whatever. Uh, but if you feel like I have something to offer, then please contact me back after watching the video. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, the three things that I'm going to kind of go over in this video are content backlinks and citations uh, so to start with content google likes websites to have around 1500 to 2000 words and as we can see on your site here uh, it's a little bit lacking um, i like your pictures they're nice uh, and your contact information you know you've got your call now button directions all that stuff is right at the top but content wise you're gonna want a little bit more. If we go over to one of your top competitors, uh, we can see here they've got a lot of words on their website. And the reason that we like a lot of words on our homepage is because uh, then Google can actually search your website and search it for relevance and authority. Google has bots combing over every inch of your website uh, looking for keywords and relevance to people's searches. Uh, so the more content you have, the more likely your chances of showing up when someone searches up, let's say, moving services, Brandon Manitoba, or Brandon Manitoba Moving Company, anything like that. Those kind of keywords are what your website needs to contain. And... The more content you have, the more range you have for keywords to include uh, in that content. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can also put keywords uh, behind your pictures. So you can save, so I'll just do a, a little example here. I can save this image as something. And here we can see it is saved as image 4289. So if we went ahead and changed that, to Brandon Moving Company or Moving Company Brandon, Brandon Moving Services, anything like that. That's just another step, another piece of content that is going to help Google search your website and make you relevant. Um, the second thing that I want to go over are backlinks. Um, so when I say backlinks, I mean anything that links back to your website. Um, so we were talking about relevance and authority. Google is basically just a big popularity contest. And the more backlinks you have from trusted sites, the more popular your site will be. Uh, now keep in mind that not all links are made equal. Uh, some are going to be more spammy and Google only ranks you for ones that are relevant to your website. So for example, if you had a backlink on your website from, uh, let's just go with Pizza Hut, it's not going to be relevant to your website because well, you're not in the business of selling pizzas. Um, so what I use is a tool called Arifs. I pay for it monthly. And we can see here uh, that your backlinks, nothing shows up for them. Uh, now that's, this tool isn't always 100% accurate but it's not showing anything it's not it's not giving us any data for that uh, when we go over to one of your competitors we can see that they have almost five and a half thousand backlinks and 81 referring domains so they have five thousand different links that are going back to their website and 81 domains that also mention their website so honestly it's as simple as going into all of these, seeing what it would be to 
put your business into these backlinks. So like, for example, this 411, it might just be a matter of making a profile on 411 and putting your business in there and getting an extra backlink for you. And what I meant by not all backlinks are made by the same, we can see this little column here. Sorry, this column here with the 074. So this zero and this zero, those backlinks don't have any strength. But we see this one here, this campaign archive, it has 91 out of 100. So that's a backlink that we're going to want to go for. Mover.net, 62, allied.com. All of those backlinks are very strong and ones that we would uh, want to go for for your website. And then the third thing that I want to go over are citations. Uh, so that is a citation is your business name, address, and phone number listed anywhere in Google on directories such as Facebook, Yelp, Yellow Pages, uh, Better Business Bureau, anything like that. And as we can see here, your company, Marion's Moving and Delivery Service, um, Brandon, Manitoba, there's three citations. And for this Winnipeg moving and storage, uh, there are 29 citations. Now, th this is a Winnipeg company, but they offer services in Brandon. So that's why I'm using uh, to compare because they're going to be one of your biggest competitors when it comes to moving. So if we go into Winnipeg moving and storage here, we can check out their citations. So they've got Yelp, Better Business, DNB, Zoom Info, Yellow Pages, all of these different ones. It's as simple as going into these and listing your website, or listing your business, your business name, your address, and your phone number, and getting these as citations for your own website. And I mean, it's not that difficult. And if you want like an, a website redesign too, then that's something that we can look at too. But anyways, uh, those citations, what that helps you with is it shows you in the map pack. So for example, I'll search up moving company, Brandon, Manitoba. So here we can see this is our map pack. And in the map pack is Canada moving Brandon, Brandon moving and storage. HNX Transport and Premier Van Lines Moving Company. So the more citations you have, the more likely you are to show up in this map pack. Here we can see that this one is an ad. So they're paying to be at that top spot right now. And then these three are all here organically. And then it keeps going and going and going down the list. See, there you are. You're about number seven or eight in there. So not bad, but definitely some room uh, for improvement, of course. Um, so yeah, anyways, those are the three things that I kind of wanted to go over. Um, content, you got to have at least 1500 to 2000 words per page or on your website, and lots of keywords that are relevant to your business. Uh, backlinks, you want to have good, strong backlinks that are relevant to your services and to your business. And then citations, you want to have as many citations as possible to get you ranked in that Google map pack. So if you're interested in going ahead and contacting me and moving forward with some services, then by all means, let's get to it. But again, this video was just to educate. So if you feel like going out and doing this on your own, you go ahead. Uh, but anyways, here's my contact information. And uh, I hope you have a nice day.